Uh, so this just happened. Camping under trees, eh? This big branch here just fell out of the tree because we've got strong winds today. And what did it do? Just missed Lorraine. Just missed Lorraine, <laughs> like by millimetres, and smashed me solar panel. Not happy at all. What the hell, man? So this here, this is Isabella Creek, and it obviously runs down into Isabella Falls, which is just over here. It's a creek crossing, so you drive across it. You watch for cars, come on the ground. Deep. You can see it runs down through there. This is part of it. Goes around to there. And then there's a swimming hole at the bottom. How cool is this place? It would have. We could have swam here. So we've arrived in Cooktown. We are staying at the Peninsula Caravan Park. We just uh, unhooked the trailer and we've just come to have a look around. We're down in the wharf precinct area. So they've got all these little jetties like that one there stick out over the rocks. You can fish from them they reckon. But this is not the best looking weather for it. Nice view over the other side. Some hills over there. It goes down into the bay where it gets a bit calmer. The tide must be out, looks a bit shallow. They've got this beautiful park area behind me. They've got toilets, showers, uh, barbecues, water playground. Water playground down there. Somewhere, yeah, right there. Uh, shops, fish and chip shops, and pubs and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty cool. Check this house on the hill, what a view he has. How cool is that? Another one up here, nestled in the trees, you can hardly see it. This place is pretty awesome. Alright, we're going to go find something else to look at. So we're just making our way up to a lookout up the top here. Apparently you can see all over the cook town. It's a bloody steep climb up the hill. Always uphill. Yeah, so we'll see what we can get to the top and we'll see what we can see. Start way over here. Let's start way over here. We've got, here we've got come down. It's really windy. Surrounding areas. We've so got the river out there. Not sure of that name of that river. It goes out into the ocean. Sweeping around. Look. The line out. There it is. So after a bit of reading, I've just found out that this here is called the Endeavour River. So that one there is the Endeavour River. Uh, yeah, it's very tidal, as you can tell. At the moment, the tide seems to be way out. So yeah, there's a houseboat over there. Looks like it is on the sand. All right, so that's the Endeavour River.
Now this is Finch Bay. It's obviously a very low tide. We have a, uh, a river behind us. I'm not sure the name of this river. Jeez, it's bloody windy. So at high tide, obviously this all fills up with water, fills the river. Now it's low tide, there's no water. This would be awesome in the morning. It would be. How cool is that? All right. Today we're heading off to Woodjil Woodjil and this is the drive out there. The it's a bit of a, it's not a narrow road but it's two lanes. But yeah, it's beautiful through the country here. Yeah. This is like the sort of tropic rainforesty stuff. But yeah, really lovely drive. It's a bit cool outside in here because obviously it blocks a lot of the sun out. This place is called Black Mountain Park and you'll see why when we come around this side. There it is, Black Mountain. There's one here and there's one over there. Really weird. And it's just like someone's had a dump truck and just dumped a pile of rocks there. This here, this is the uh, Bloomfield River out at Woodjil Woodjil. What a very massive river it is. We'll take some more photos. Yeah, we'll get some photos of it so, yeah, as we go along. Den, which is a iconic pub, it's been around since about 1875, I think. Uh, yeah, this is the museum, little museum part of it. Just a bit of memorabilia in here. Look at the old cash register. Check the snake skin. Oh, that's a big snake. Turtle shells. Petrol pump, sewing machines, all sorts of stuff in here. We've got old bottles and all the old bottles, cans, jugs. It's crazy. So this stuff. Oh. Thanks for that. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Anyway. Yes, definitely have to come take a look if you're out this way. The music's awesome. Yeah, they got live bands and stuff like that, so yeah, it's pretty cool.
Morning people. So we spent the we've moved away from where we were last camped and we've now spent the night at Wonga Beach. Uh, caravan park. Um, yeah, tiny little caravan park. Right next to the beach, beach is down here. It absolutely bucketed down with rain all night. Uh, everything's soaking wet and we gotta pack up and move on. Yeah, fun times when that happens. So yeah, that's where we're at. So we'll just get all packed up and we're heading out to uh, another place down near Daintree Village, which is a like a, uh, it's a farm stay type thing, which they've set up, a hip camp. So we're gonna head off into there and uh, hang out there for about four days while we go and explore the, around the Daintree area. Yeah, so that's what we're up to. So yeah, we're in uh, the Daintree Village area. So we've camped down the road at a hip camp. It's uh, $25 a night, or well, $30 a night with all their taxes and stuff. Uh, yeah, and so we've just come up here, uh, we're just chilling out for the day, and then we're going to go out and have explore. So up there for four days, so we're going to explore around this area for the next four days, uh, and check out everything there is to offer. And this is the Barramundi Gardens, it looks like it's closed though, it hasn't been open in a while by the looks. This is the building. There used to be a veranda out the top here, or an undercovered area, which is all closed up. There's a big fish. There yeah, would be a good little business if you could uh, purchase it and do it up a bit. You could have a thriving little pub in here with beer garden outside and uh, yeah, pizza ovens and whatever. This would be cool as. I think it was something like that at one stage. This is the timber gallery now. But yeah, I don't know what the go is. It's all boarded up, doesn't look like it's been open in a while. Yeah, so our plan is to explore this area, all the rainforests and everything like that, and yeah, and have fun doing it. Check out the old tractor, would you? More. Anyway, right, let's go and find something to do. Yeah, there's a pub, there's a general store, and obviously all your touristy uh, bits and pieces over there. Awesome iced coffees from the uh, Croc Espresso. They've got some old farm equipment out this side. A tractor, another tractor. Oh, there you go. Let's have a look at that. Old tractors and stuff here everywhere. All right, this place is cool. Yeah, let's go and have a look inside. Check out this beast, would you? Ford Mainline in awesome condition. What a machine. Hey. Whoop, whoop. Check out these. <laughs> That's cool as. Yeah, I don't see many of them. So we're in the little museum here. This is awesome spot. It's got so much history in here. Look at all the stuff around here. Just stuff everywhere. Yeah, so we're just in here having a look around, checking out all the old stuff. Pretty cool. And this machine here, I love this. It's got old motorbikes. <laughs> Another old motorbike. So we're just heading out along Stewart Creek Road in the Daintree area just today for a bit of a quick look around before we go and do anything so we can plan our stuff and do it tomorrow because we're here for four days. Um, yeah, so I thought we'd just do a scenic little drive out this way. It is very scenic. It is very scenic, that's for sure.
the coffee shop. I want to buy the Ford main line. <laughs> we all have our dreams, I guess. <laughs> the Ford main line here, by the way, is for sale. If anybody is interested, they're asking about 40 grand. But he's keen to sell. And so. he's keen to sell. <laughs> and oh, cows. And they are on the road. Hello, fellas. What's going on? Through the canopy of trees. Let's take you out to Valley Haven, I think it is. We've come to a gate. Yeah. We can go through the gate. It's a public gate. I don't know if we need to. Do we need to? Do you want to open I the gate? I think so. I think we can Alright, we're going to stop here and go back. It's been good. Oh, wait. Oh, Lorraine's just going to test the electric fence. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no? She says no? Is it electric? Yeah, because it goes all the way along there, so is, I'm not sure. Is it electric? <laughs> I have a feeling it might be. Go on, give it a touch. No, you okay. do it. No, I'm not <laughs> You're doing the top man. I know how they <laughs> kick. I'm not doing it. I've already touched one. So I woke up this morning. It's been raining all night. It didn't sleep very well. You can see there's a bit of fog still around. Yeah. It's a beautiful morning. So we're off to go and do the Dane Tree Discovery Centre which is supposed to be pretty good, so we're going to go and have a look at that and then take a drive up to Cape Tribulation, check out a few more things up there, and then that should pretty much fill up our day. But first of all, we're going to have a cooked breakfast and get really organised to do that. So we're just on the Daintree Ferry Crossing, so on the ferry, taking us across. We're going to go to the, to the, to the Discovery Centre. It's the Daintree River. very humid because of all the rain we had. It's just, yeah, yeah. But anyway, gotta make the day of it. All right, let's get across this river. Drive through the rainforest. Whoop, whoop. This is one hell of a windy road. It's uphill, it's windy, it's narrow, it's fun. <laughs> Especially with me driving. I ain't driving, so it's also a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> See how these spiny leaf insects. See all those brown pieces you see there, they're all insects. Some are moving, some are not. And there's oh, the cool eggs there. down the bottom. Oh, got the legs, yeah. Can't see the eggs because there's too much glare. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> cool <laughs> as. Inside the uh, Discovery Centre, we're just doing the, the boardwalk at the moment, and then we'll go and walk up the 23 metre tower and see the, from the top of the canopy. And this is from the boardwalk, this is called MacArthur Creek running through here. <coughs> Man, it's just crazy in here. Actually, yeah, and then this is on the other side. So we're looping around. So peaceful, so tranquil. 
Anyway, we'll go find something else. So yeah, we're climbing up the tower. We're on level four now. You can see that we're getting above the top of the rainforest. How cool is this? So that's the bottom down there. Mm. Oh, crazy. What an amazing place. Okay, so now we're at the top level of the tower. So we're above the top of the rainforest almost. Well, it surrounds us, but. Yeah, quite bizarre. MacArthur Creek, but it's actually McLean's Creek. So yeah, I got that wrong. So yeah, now it is correct. McLean's Creek. How cool is that? So we finished the uh, Discovery Centre tour uh, and that was pretty cool, um, it was very informative, uh, you got to see the rainforest up close and you got to get above it and things like that. A little bit pricey at $40 a head, um, but you know, you only get to see it once I suppose. But now we've come up to Cape Trib, we're up at the uh, Cape Trib beach, or the end here. So this here is the beach, actually quite nice up here, this is free. Cool is this place? Anyway, right, we've got to go up to the lookout. We might go up to the lookout and see if we can, well, we will go up there and have a look out from there. We might go for a walk on the beach first. Now we're heading off to the uh, lookout. So just to walk along this concrete path should take us up there through the rainforest. How cool is that? Check out this guy, just selling himself here in the shade, sort of. I don't know, crazy, isn't it? If well, he's in the only bit of sun on my shady track, anyway. <laughs> cool as. Cargo ship out there. The view from the lookout. Cool. Yeah. 
So that was the lookout. So in front up there we saw dolphins chasing fish around. There's a cargo ship uh, moving into, I don't know where it's going, but it's got a heap of cargo on it. Sea containers. Oh uh, yeah, we've seen that lizard on the way up. And yeah, and there's butterflies and other little things bugging around. So yeah, what a great little spot. This here is called Thornton Beach. This is quite a lovely beach actually. I don't know what we've got out here, this little island out here, this is called Struck Island. The water looks beautiful. Bring that down to the mainland again. How cool is this? There we go, back on the ferry, heading back across the other side.